morning challenges. I hope you all slept well. Now, I know yesterday was a lot to take in, but we still got to greet the start of a brand new day. Yesterday is history, and tomorrow is a mystery, right? So, rise and shine. I'm excited to watch what you'll do from here on out. Hmm? It's kind of a bummer that we don't have access to any social media outlets with these... Dracon smartphones. If we did, I'd show you the ropes on those too. And, of course, send out a call for help. Though, I'm sure what's going on here is obvious by now to the planetary colonies. If only there were another big ol' space airport out there to... send us help. It's all right. I can't see myself using a social media account very often anyways. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. I can see you being pretty popular with girls who like sweet, polite men.
What about your personal phone? Are you able to use that? You know, I thought so too. Unfortunately, that's a no-go. I even took a selfie and uploaded it for my followers before we walked into the stadium. After we saw the Amy Pod and that old cute Dracon explained the death matches, my internet was completely fucking jammed. Looks like they really thought of everything, huh? I see. I suppose they did. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, no reason. Wanna be my boyfriend? What? What? <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. You didn't look too ecstatic when I asked, though. Not interested at all. You don't have to answer that. It's fine. <sighs> Once we get out of here, you should invest in a personal phone of your own. I'd totally follow you if you made a social media account. The life of Bojin sounds quite intriguing. Oh, I'm sure you'd end up being disappointed. It's not very interesting. Hey. Oh, hey, baby doll. Of course. Just getting a few reps in. Sorry for worrying you. I'm just concerned is all. What happened at dinner last night really has me overthinking everything. It's just not fair, damn it! The better part of me wants to stomp back over to Fenris' smug face and tell him off for brushing Anne to the side so easily. But then my other half feels a sick sense of relief. If Anne gets crushed by that trap, that means that the people trapped in the air terminals would stay safe. That is, if we can trust what President Draycott says. Ah, uh, that's right. Your fiancé is trapped in the air terminals as well, isn't she? I understand. You'd do anything to keep her safe, so... I don't think you should feel shame for that. What really sucks is that it's just so... easy to go along with Finnerus' plan. Exactly! Like I know he and Scattershot have a plan, and it's super solid too, but I just don't want to have to choose between two evils!
I'll try to talk to Fenris. Maybe we could discuss some other possibilities. Bojan, thank you. You're a good kid. Ha! Of course! I'm not going to be outdone. I'll come up with a plan so huge that it'll save both Anne and Beth. Just you see. Beth? Is that... My fiancé, yeah. I'll introduce you to her when we kick Dracon's crusty old ass and get out of here. surgery table. Nothing so malicious as to side with Artemis Dracon, I assure you. How could I, after what he had done to the children? Um... something you want to say. Uh, well, I have a lot of things I want to ask you, actually. I'm just curious about you, is all. Was that you said? I'm nearly finished with my task. Go ahead and speak. Oh, great. Uh, well, uh, how are you feeling, Scattershot? Tired. My back hurts. I am also a little hungry. Oh, I mean, you should take care of that, but it's not what I was referring to exactly.
Our situation is awful. I've heard everybody else express how they're feeling about it, but you've been really quiet about the whole thing. I just wanted to see if you were all right. Well, if it will help ease your emotions. Yes, Bojan, I am fine. Thank you for asking. What is your next question? How long have you been working here? It's amazing that you seem to know this place top to bottom. I forget how long it's been, but I have been employed here for quite some time. Hmm. Do you have any hobbies? I create high artillery weapons, repair broken machinery, and cyber enhancement. Anything you do for fun? spaceship, and you shoot aliens out of the sky. I assume the previous lead cyber enhancement specialist left it on that computer before I began my employment. Ah, but I'm not very good at it. Whoever it was, they must have been quite adept. A high score is near impossible to beat. Scattershot! Don't look at me like that. Stop it. I'm not good at video games either, but maybe we could play it sometime and try to tackle the score. No. Please? I won't ask again if we play together at least once. Shot or something? Nah. Um... How long have you been fighting, Bojan? I... wouldn't consider it a long time. Huh. I've noticed that you seem to be a little too humble for a Dracon tournament participant. If we weren't in such a harrowing situation, 
I would have expected you to sound more proud of your position. Ah, uh, don't get me wrong. I am grateful, I just... Just what? Never mind, it's, it's nothing important. Talk. You of all people should know that I took a knack to sword fighting when I was a little kid. M me of all people? What do you mean? Jack told me you were a fan. You just turned a bit pale there. I don't blame you. It's easy for me to scare people. Ah, uh, but, uh, you don't scare me. The reason why I panicked is because of what Jack told you. I was embarrassed, not intimidated, so please don't worry. You're not going to make this easy, are you? I'm not a nice person. If you aren't scared of me, I suggest you act like you are and run away with your tail between your legs. If we have to work together to get out of here, then so be it. But I don't want it to speak to you more than necessary. Got it? Have I done something to make you angry? If you would just tell me... Bojin. Uh, hey! Thank you. Crackers, are you okay? Yeah. 
I just ain't all that good at hanging out with people. That's okay. That makes you feel better. Neither am I. <laughs> That's definitely a lie. You made friends with that Jack kid so easily. Everybody likes you. Even the crown champion. Who? Fenris? I think like is too strong of a word for that. <laughs> Why do you say that? Is he being an asshole to you? Whoa, whoa, calm down, it's fine. Your expression looked hurt, though. I, I can punch him if you want. I don't care about his status and all that. I really appreciate that you do that for me. But uh, let's make sure to not go around punching people, okay? Everybody is on edge enough as it is. Y yeah, you're right, but I don't like it. Do you think we'll be able to do it? Get out of here. I mean... We'll figure it out. Trust me. Okay. I will. Is it any good? Yeah, it's awesome. Where did you learn to cook like this? Well, it's really nothing special. I learned from my foster mother, Zayla. Since I was one of the oldest, I would help cook for the other children who lived in her house. Foster? Mm -hmm. She isn't my mother by blood, but I consider her my real mother. The woman who gave birth to me, I assume, abandoned me a long time ago. I couldn't tell you what really happened. I was only an infant. Uh, are you crying? I'm sorry, did I say something to upset you? It's, it's okay. You did nothing wrong. I, I just can't imagine someone would abandon such a nice person as you. I've made up my mind. No asshole's ever gonna hurt you again. Not while I'm around. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Huh? Hey!
What were you doing? I... Uh... What was I doing? I'm... N not sure. You were messing around with the water and just dunked yourself under. I, I thought you were looking for something under there, but you just... gave up. G gave up? You s stopped moving. I thought you were unconscious. I'm sorry. I caused you to worry. Oh, why in the world did I do that? I can't even swim. Ty, be honest with me. You really not know why you went into the water? No. I... I don't. It's okay, it's okay. Could you at least promise not to do that again? I can't try, but... What if I forget the promise too? Has this always been a normal thing for you, Ty? Forgetting things? Yes. And I can't explain why, but things just become so foggy all the time. Ah, <sighs> but... It hasn't always been this way. At least I don't think it has. My childhood is vivid, but forgetting such vital things as my own name, I... That can't be right. Um... Yes? Beats me. You think I keep him on a leash or something? If the man's tired, he should get his rest. Even so, I really, really, really wanted him to drop by. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. Ahem! Thank you all so much for coming. It warms my heart to see all your faces here. And on such short notice! 
Yes, yes, just get on with it. No way! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, I was made to obey my creator. I'd love to be free of this place by any means necessary, too. At the moment, though, it's... It's just not possible. But maybe... With the help of all of you? Can we... be friends? Please? What a joke. You understand that you can't be friendly with both sides, right? It'll be next to impossible to gain anybody's trust if you don't hold on to one conviction. If you're trying to be genuine with us, you should remember that. You make your choice and you stick with it. Consequences and all. Ami Ami said that she was made to obey the Dracons. Wouldn't picking sides like that be impossible for her to do anyways? Godspeed, Captain Obvious. Got any more prophetic revelations for us? I understand. Nah. Huh?
Well, isn't it to be expected? I'm not saying that I don't have any sympathy for her, but she's a big factor in all of us being trapped here. Even if she wants out like the rest of us, she's burdened down by circumstances she can't change. I kind of understand that, in my own way. I think maybe if she was able to break free of it all, she'd take the chance. Who wouldn't? I'm not saying that I'm going to trust her right away. I, I just don't think she deserves to be completely ignored. That kind of thing really sucks the most. Ami, you've said that for the fifth time already. It's no problem at all, really. Of course it's no problem for you. Only a guy like Bojan would enjoy dish duty for the second night in a row. How did you know about me having dish duty the night before? You literally left with everybody else. Fenris and I had a talk. Or, well, a text chat last night. I should have figured. Nice form. Outing me as some type of rabid fanboy, by the way. Very cool of you. He's the one who asked about you. I just told him what I knew, which, by the way, isn't a lot. I'm almost too scared to ask. Pretty scary. Fenris, I mean. I can't quite seem to look him in the eye whenever he speaks to me. You should have seen me today. He and I were here chatting earlier. I couldn't get anything I really wanted to say out of my mouth. I even promised Payne that I'd talk to him about Anne. Ah, but he walked out all upset, right? How mysterious. Uh, um, that is to say, I kind of, sort of, maybe, saw that interaction too. I'm so sorry. Guess we'll just have to live with you monitoring our every waking moment. Huh. 
Do you ever sleep? <laughs> no, I don't need to. I'm an android. Locked right into that one. Guess I did. <laughs> Are you guys always this mean to each other? When you look past his kind facade, Bojin's pretty sassy. But he doesn't like mean the things he says. At least, I hope not. I can't believe you just called me sassy. You even hear yourself sometimes? I swear, know a guy for a few days. <laughs>